What if I told you that there was a way you could become smarter, happier, healthier, and more connected to other people? How many of you would want to know what that is? Now, what if I told you that there was a way that you could do this from wherever you are, whenever you want, and for free? How many of you would want to know what that is? The answer is simple. Navin Basha Shikno. Oops, sorry. Um, apprendre nouvelle langue. Oops, sorry. Um, apprendre nou uh, nouvel idioma. Sorry. What I meant was learning a new language. How many of you understood what I said the first time? The second time? The third time? If you understood any of what I just said, chances are you, you might be bilingual. My name is Ishita Dupavkar, and I'm familiar with four languages, three of which I'm fluent in, and the fourth one, still getting there. Um, I was born in India, and I grew up speaking Marathi, which I continue to speak at home with my family. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. That was the first language I used in my talk. Anyways, there are an estimated 3.3 billion bilingual people in the world. And the reason that's interesting is because that means almost half the world's population speaks at least two languages. But why do all these people with easy access to, inter to the internet and technology even decide to take the extra effort? Why learn a language when, you know, Google Translate can do all the work? Well, this question has been coming up more and more often as technological advancements are happening. But the thing is that learning a new language is more necessary now than it has ever been. From having a conversation with our family and friends to um, navigating our way around in a foreign country, languages are essential. Um, in the case of the airport scenario, language learning can be navigation and not getting lost in a different country. In the case of the greeting and conversation, language can mean connection. Language is important, and knowing more than one language has been proven to have significant social and cognitive benefits. Before the 1960s, bilingualism was seen as a burden. People believed that bilingual people used up too much of the brain's energy, and this caused the brain to not function as well. However, from recent studies, we know that um, the more we exercise our brain, the better it gets. When we think of learning a new language and having a conversation in a new language, two basic things come to mind, speaking and listening. There are two basic areas of the brain that are involved in learning a new language that have to do with speaking and listening, the Broca's area and the Wernicke's area. The Wernicke's area is responsible for listening um, to the words in a different language, and the Broca's area is responsible for speaking in the proper grammatical formation of words. When we hear something, it goes through the Wernicke's area, gets processed, then goes into the Broca's area, formulates a response before we can say it. Say, for example, I said the word car. If I said it in your native language, um, you'd probably picture a car or think of something that has to do with the car. But now, if I said it in a different language that you don't know, you'd have to process what I just said, translate it into the new language before you can give me a response. Um, so what's happening is these two areas are closer to other parts of your brain that have to do with attention spans. So when we exercise these two areas, um, naturally the areas that are closer to these two areas get exercised as well. According to a 2012 study funded by the National Institutes of Health, bilingual people are better at switching easily between any type of task than monolingual people, not just languages. This is because their brains have been trained to naturally and quickly switch between tasks while still doing both of them correctly. According to the American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages, an organization of more than 13,000 language teachers, learning a second language is connected to better problem-solving skills, verbal and spatial abilities, long and short-term memory, creative thinking, as well as attitudes toward other cultures. Since there are many benefits of learning a new language, and everyone can do it, I'm going to start off by teaching you a few words in my native language. To start off, we have water. I'm going to say water, and then I'm going to say it in Marathi, and just repeat after me. Um, water, pani. Next one is cat, manzar. 
Next one is dog, kutra. And the last one we have is door, darvaza. So my challenge to you starting today is to pick a foreign language of your choice and learn one new word a day. Imagine where you would be in a year. The good thing is I just gave you a four-day head start. You're on your way. Thank you.